The demand for hydrogen right now is growing exponentially. It's seen as a critical piece of the puzzle for decarbonising some of the heaviest industries out there in the world. My name is Priyan Mystery and I work at Johnson Matthey as a business development manager. So today hydrogen is used in many chemical processes such as the production of ammonia for fertilisers as well as the production of methanol which is used as a chemical intermediate. There are some new and exciting uses of hydrogen which include using it within a vehicle powered by a fuel cell. My name is Andrew Cornish and I'm an R&D scientist at Johnson Matthey. A fuel cell works by taking hydrogen on as a fuel and electrochemical reaction happens. The protons pass through the membrane and reform with oxygen to produce water and the electrons are then drawn around the circuit to produce electricity. At the heart of a hydrogen fuel cell is a catalyst coated membrane and this is the part that Johnson Matthey adds value to. So today, hydrogen is primarily produced from steam methane reforming. This uses methane gas as the raw material. This has CO2 as a byproduct, which of course is undesirable in the decarbonised future that we see for ourselves. There are also more sustainable routes to producing hydrogen, which include producing it through a technology called electrolysis. Johnson Matthews helping meet the future demand for hydrogen by using its decades of experience in fuel cells to help develop CCMs for electrolyzers. An electrolyzer works much like a fuel cell in reverse, where we split water into protons and oxygen using renewable electricity. The protons can then be recombined to form hydrogen. I'm Liz Nixon and I'm Production Manager for Hydrogen Technologies. Johnson Matthey is developing new and improved catalysts for the fuel cell components. At the moment, we're producing components for fuel cells and electrolyzers over in Swindon for hydrogen technologies. We've ramped up our production significantly. So here in Royston, we're building a new facility to manage that demand. Through our partnership with Plug Power, we're developing a new facility over in the USA. This is a huge step change for us with hydrogen technologies and will allow us to develop our processes and components along with that customer collaboration. Some of the challenges in scaling up of hydrogen technologies are associated with the cost of deploying these technologies. Johnson Matthey is developing some of the really complex cutting edge science that is needed to ultimately improve the performance and industrialise it at meaningful scale. Johnson Matthey has been around for 200 years. We will continue to make sure that our solutions are relevant and addressing some of the complex problems that the world is facing. There's a definite sense of pride in working in, you know, developing real technologies that are used in the world, really pushing the boundaries of science, I guess. It's always been fuel cells is around the corner, a couple of years' time, and now actually it's taken off. It's now, we've, we've doubled our growth in the last year, it's been humongous. It's going to be immense. <laughs>